Hello everyone. So this is Nandu from IIT Hyderabad and a PMRF Fellowship awardee. So uh, in this video, uh, first I would like to tell, show you my offer letter. Like dear Nandu, it gives me immense pleasure to inform you that you are selected for the prestigious Primary Services Fellowship under the Lateral Entry Scheme Cycle 9. So since I have already got this fellowship, so I have the idea how to write a research proposal so that you can uh, you can uh, increase your chance for the selection. So let us go to the research proposal, how to write a research proposal, which is very, very, very important. So I'm, I'm dealing with a sample uh, research proposal for the PMRF, which I made uh, during the initial part of my PMRF application. So uh, the first thing is the background. Your, your uh, PMRF fellowship research proposal should have the background, which is very important. Like this in this you, uh, you can see background the second one is the motivation and third one is the research objectives and the fourth one is the methodology and fifth one is the timeline of the workflow and the sixth one is the work progress till now and uh, last but not least with references so in the background whatever the topic you have you should uh, create like uh, what what is the background what what the topic means and where it comes from and then the motivation what is the motivation for your uh, proposal for your research like what uh, what uh, benefits it is offering you to the society which is very important through your proper um, survey and proper data you should motivate your research topic so that the uh, the NCT, uh, ncc team will see and motivate the it gets itself motivated by seeing your research proposal and uh, didn't get the second uh, thought uh, by not offering the PMR fellowship to you. So background, the background and motivation, there's just a lot of difference. In the background, you should tell what are the things and what, uh, what uh, the th uh, up to th what whatever the research has been done and what are the things going on in the current time. But in the motivation, what motivates you and what are the service you have to tell. And the third thing, the research objectives. Like what are the research objectives you are dealing with? So please create a, a list of research objectives. So by creating the list of research objectives, you will also uh, be, be get assured in your mind like uh, what are the research objectives you are dealing with and in what phases you are dealing with. So please write one by one. For example, uh, I'm... Uh, uh, if if you are dealing with uh, a smart city development, then uh, first step is will be what, second step will be what, and third step will be what. So please write briefly about the step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. So it will increase the chance by by uh, giving a proper or clear overview of your research objectives, which is the for, which is the very most important in your research proposal. And the third one, fourth one is the methodology. What are the things you are going to use in your uh, research? What, how you are going to use, like what are the methods and what, what method you are using? And the fifth one is the timeline and the workflow. Like you can tell the timeline uh, uh, in what times you will going to, you are going to achieve. You are going to complete your work. For example, research objective one. You are going to complete in specific duration. Please write that. Research objective 2. You are going to complete in specific duration. You can make also a flow chart which will, which will uh, increase uh, the clear understanding. And the sixth one is the work progress till now. Like what are the works you have done? So please write in that. And uh, with that, uh, if you have written your work progress, uh, if you are in second year or first year, you should have some work in order to show that you have started, you have done something. So that you can claim that we are, yeah, we are, if we, if we, I get the fellowship, uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, able to do properly whatever the things assigned to me, what are the work assigned to me. And the fifth and foremost thing is, uh, please uh, include the references, uh, which is very important. And, and very important thing is a similarity score. Similarity score should be less than or equals to 20%. It means that please check your plagiarism policy less uh, using turnitin account if at home iit you will have that definitely have the detail the login the ids and uh, you uh, for, for the turnitin please check with turnitin uh, detail and if you it should have the less than 20 percent plagiarism policy and uh, then you can easily frame your research proposal 
and increase the chance for the PMRF fellowship. So uh, with these words, uh, all the best for your PMRF application. And uh, if I help you in writing in any way, please do support this channel and please subscribe and please like, hit the like button and comment if you have any query. Thank you so much.